everyone, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Tommy Grimes and I vlog about people, places, and things that I love from the city of brotherly love to the city of angels. Today I'm enlisting the help of my friend Tara to show you how to take a My Heritage DNA test. I've been making lots of vlogs over the past year about DNA testing as it aids me in my search for my late father's biological family. But there's definitely a lot more to it than that. I've made a lot of vlogs about the backstory and I'll be making a documentary series about it going forward. So stay tuned for more on that. All right, let's get started. Here we go. Hi, I'm Tara. I am a digital artist living in LA. I'm also a teacher for a technology company and I'm half Filipino and half white. I'm really interested what kind of results I'll get from this test. Filipino side, I know that my grandparents moved here separately from the Philippines and they came from two different regions. There's a lot of different areas there. And then my mom, kind of standard white American, she doesn't know a whole lot about her family history never really had the conversations with any of my grandparents. I didn't meet my Filipino grandparents. They died before I was born. My mom's parents didn't really tell me a whole lot about, again, family history. So it'll be nice to find out where our origins are and maybe find out if I have other relatives out there that we didn't really know about. And what's in this box? Oh, uh, what's in the box? You'll find an activation card, instructions, an envelope to mail your sample, a clear plastic bag, two unopened vials, and two unopened swabs. Step one. First, you want to activate your kit online. Go to myheritagedna.com setup. You can find the activation code on the card that came with your kit. Make sure you keep that code for your records. Step two. Don't eat, drink, chew gum, or smoke for at least 30 minutes before your test. Stops here. Step three, on a clean surface, lay out your unopened swabs and vials. Step four, remove one swab from the wrapper and put it inside of only one of your cheeks. Use the swab head to scrape the inside of your cheek while rotating it for 30 to 60 seconds. Step five, open a vial and insert the swab swab end down. Once the swab hits the bottom of the vial, you need to break the swab against the inside edge of the vial. It should break at the marked black line on the swab. The swab end should be left inside the liquid in the vial. Step six, put the cap back on the vial real tight. Step seven, go ahead and do it all over again. Repeat steps four through six with the second vial and swab. It's a lot like what I'm doing for my COVID test every single week, except I'm putting it up my nose. There's probably a song I could sing while I'm doing this to time myself. All right, a little black line again. Oh my gosh, there's bubbles. Okay, snap and cap. All right, second one done. Step eight, make sure those caps are on real tight and then put both vials on the cotton pad inside of the plastic bag. Close the Ziploc and then put the bag into the addressed envelope. Seal the envelope. Nifty, done. Step nine, go ahead and throw a stamp on that envelope and put it in the mail. Step 10, now the waiting game begins. First, you should get an email from MyHeritage telling you that they've received your sample and another when your results are in. The DNAgeek.com estimates that the wait time for processing to be about 12 days. Yay, okay, well I'm really excited to find out what kind of test results I'll get. I'm uh, really excited to find out what I'm going to learn about both sides of my family and even what then I'll be able to share with the rest of my family. It'll be fun. So that's it. Once we get Tara's results back, we'll make another vlog with her reaction. If you want to find more of Tara's work, go to her Instagram profile or Procreate page. She is a super talented artist. You can order your My Heritage DNA test for $79 at myheritage.com, but always be on the lookout for deals over the holidays. These kits are always going on sale throughout the year. I have lots more vlogs about DNA testing. If you want to find out when DNA test kits go on sale, how to upload your raw DNA to my heritage from either Ancestry or 23andMe, and much more, you can head over to my channel page and find those videos in my DNA testing playlist, or click the card at the top corner of the screen. Also, I have more vlogs about the search for my father's biological family, my adventures in LA and Philly, in addition to videos about the people, places, and things that I love. Go ahead and subscribe to follow my journey. 
If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and let me know in the comments what you did to pass the time while you waited for your DNA test results to come back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again real soon. And there's a helicopter going, so I can repeat this after the helicopter's gone. This is so good. I think we need to, we might need to like set it aside for a second and do like the I'm waiting. Yeah, hold on. Oh, that's too good. Can't stop. No! <laughs> it's so good.